Right. So upon first glance, one may think that, okay, these are very different issues and what is the, um, like what, what connects them. So to me, the common denominator is actually power inequality, right? So the fact that what lies at the heart of both of these violations is unfair power dynamics. And what is also uh, a similarity is social refusal to accept that this is about power inequality. So in the context of rape, you know, there is a social tendency to sexualize it to the point where you don't accept that rape is an act of power abuse. It's an act, it's always inevitably an act that is associated with sexual temptation. And when you associate it with sexual temptation, naturally you associate it with victim blaming. So somehow the victim or survivor was, you know, tempting the person who ended up, you know, Un, like being unable to control their sexual urges. So, you know, all those problematic connotations that flow from over-sexualizing rape and not recognizing that it is at its heart an abuse. With a labor exploitation, the similar thing happens is that we don't recognize that this is, uh, you know, sheer exertion of power by powerful corporations or individuals subjugating um, you know, those at the margins of society to unfair labor conditions and to the point where, where, where they die in factories or where they get maimed because a faulty machine that was too expensive to repair chopped off one of their hands or chopped off one of their legs. We, you know, reduce it to accidents. We reduce it as a necessary cost of economic growth. We, you know, normalize it to such a point where Oh, you know, if we are to grow economically, if businesses are to bloom, we are going to see some of these unfortunate accidents, but it's just part of the process. So, you know, so that's where the commonality lies. So at the heart of both of these violations, there is unfair power dynamic, but then there, this power dynamic is met with social refusal to accept that this is an act of abuse of power, and instead, society in a variety of ways tries to normalize it. So I would say.